And on the one month anniversary of the murder of 10 people in Buffalo, new worries tonight about the future of guns in New York City. This is we learn more about why the Supreme Court might overturn New York's concealed carry law. CBS 2's Dick Brennan here now with more on this. Dick. Well, Maurice and Christine, the NYPD is already prepared for a change in the law. It has a four point plan to try to limit both the number of guns and the places it will be legal to bring them. The problem is more people may try to get guns. It's an agonizing anniversary. One month. One month since the day when people went out to go grocery shopping, faced down a gunman carrying out a racially motivated massacre in Buffalo. An outsider with hate in his heart, indoctrinated in the ways of white supremacy, opened fire and killed 10 precious and innocent people. The U.S. Senate has agreed to draft a law with modest gun control measures, but New York awaits a Supreme Court decision that law enforcement sees as a major setback. The NYPD has always been quite careful about who they give permission to to carry guns, and that has really kept the number of people carrying guns lawfully way down. So careful that CBS2 News has learned that at present, only about 1,700 people have the right to carry a gun when they leave home. 1,400 more have carry licenses issued by other counties that need a New York City endorsement to carry in the five boroughs. What are the options the court has? The court has a lot of options. Legal expert Andrew Lieb says the high court will likely toss New York's law against carrying. It's going to be you can have a gun unless there's exigent circumstances of a risk that makes it so you can't have it. The NYPD's John Miller asks, is it going to be Miss Kitty's on gun smoke? Check your guns at the door. Miller says states with unrestricted carry licenses frequently have people leaving the guns in their cars, only to be stolen, putting the guns into the hands of criminals. But the court could also allow gun restrictions in sensitive places. Places where large numbers of people gather, mass transit, the subway, stadiums, theaters, movie theaters, probably schools, probably houses of worship. Now, the NYPD and the mayor would have to figure out how to adjust their permit rules. Aborn says another concern is whether relaxed permit rules spark a demand for new permits from people who don't own a weapon right now. Maurice. Okay, Dick, thank you.